Hello YouTubers, beer geeks and beer hounds alike. Bill here and we're going to do a beer review today. This one is by Port Brewing Company. And this is their Wipeout IPA. I got this in a six pack of six pints for um, about 14 bucks out the door at Total Wine and More. This puppy comes in at 7% alcohol by volume and they're from San Marcos, California. I've never had this before. Um, I've seen it before but I could never get it fresh enough. But this one has an enjoyed by date of 829.20 so uh, it's got about three months left so it's probably a little over a month old so it's pretty fresh. Let's get it cracked open and see what we got here. I do like Port Brewing. They have Mongo IPA, which I adore. Adore, which I like. I don't think you really can adore a beer, can you? Enjoy. Laid back, hop for forward. Laid back, hop forward. Okay. I don't know what they mean by that, but we shall see. All right, there we go. Wipeout IPA. All right. So we have a big, frothy, creamy, silky head, some bubbles popping open all over the top there. Looks to be a uh, clear amber color. Really nice looking uh, West Coast style IPA we got here. Yep, nice looking amber color there. Very nice uh, clarity to the beer. Just a very, very slight little haze to it, but for the most part, it's clear. It's a pretty good deal. I mean, uh, six pints for 14 bucks that's that's not bad at all really that's a good deal especially um with the quality of beer that uh port uh brewing company puts out um that's pretty good value all right so let's get an aroma on this puppy yeah yeah right up front i'm getting some uh some hoppy notes some pininess Little um, little bready sweetness. Maybe a little bit of a uh, kind of citrusy kind of notes. Let's get a hit. Cheers. Yep. So um, the taste follows the aroma. We got like pine, hop, piney hops, some earthy kind of hops, and some kind of uh, hops that kind of mimic a little bit of citrus citrusiness, but not not really like fruit. It's pretty tasty. Mm. Very nice. Very nice. Hmm. I think they're using mosaic in here. Doesn't really say, um, but um, it's pretty damn tasty. Um, kind of a typical uh, West Coast style, but 
has a couple little different nuances to it. Mm, that's good. That's what I like about um, Port Brewing Company. They just start, you know, they're not blowing me away like it's not going to be the best IPA I've ever had in my life, but it's very high quality, very well constructed uh, beer, and a pretty good price, actually. Pretty damn good value. Let's swill it and see if we can pick up anything else. Yeah, it's just a really good balanced IPA. Really well balanced. Um, you got the piney and the earthy hops going on. You got the nice, uh, you know, kind of mild sweet malts balancing it all out. Um, there's nothing super, you know, standing out with this beer, but it's a very well constructed, good definition of a West Coast style IPA. That's awesome. That's very awesome. I would definitely recommend this if you can get it fresh. Um, it's dank enough to where you know you've got a nice IPA. It's not so dank where it's like lingering and makes your mouth all bitter. There's none of that chalkiness or you know, kind of tobacco note that I tend to pick up in a lot of mass-produced IPAs. Uh, it tastes like a very good constructed all-grain, no adjunct IPA. Uh, I'm enjoying the hell out of this. I'm also enjoying the fact that I got six pints for 14 bucks. Got a nice breadiness, almost like a cracker malt note. Mm, that is good. I would definitely pick this up again. Without a doubt. I would definitely pick this up again. The earthy kind of uh, herbal hops are coming through more on the back end. And it's just a blend of the, the earthy spices and the, the kind of pininess coming at the front. And then there's just the malt just, eat, just smooths everything right on out. Really beautiful looking IPA. Mm, that is very good. As I'm going, getting further along here with this beer, the uh, malts are coming up a little bit more, which is rather tasty. Yeah, Brady, kind of cracker malt sweetness coming through. It's a really good balance of the piney and earthy hops. Very nice. It's not fruity or nothing like that. There's no real fruit in it. It's all just like pure hops. Very good tasting uh, beer. Um, it's got a medium mouthfeel. It's very re refreshing. It's got excellent head retention, leaving some lacing on the glass there. We'll swill it one more time. We'll wrap it up. Cheers. Yeah, that's awesome. I love it. I like it. It's very tasty. All right, so that's pretty much what I got on this puppy um, on a scale of one to five stars two and a half just being C average I'm gonna give this um, I'm gonna give this 4.2 it's a very tasty uh, IPA and very good value I will definitely pick this up again we give you quite a bit of beer for your buck and it's high good quality craft beer uh, very well constructed so um, that's pretty much what I got on this beer that's my story and I'm sticking with it. Double horns up. And um, y'all have an awesome day. And we'll catch you later. See ya. I'll have the description of the beer at the bottom of the video in the description section. Have a good day. See ya.